I have seen giant titan super capital ships rain down terror upon unsuspecting gate campers. I have seen starships decloak from the abyss of a wormhole with intentions unknown. I've also seen fleets of hundreds of capsuleers under the command of one very nervous and irritable fleet commander in Nullsec. Are any of these experiences going to get you a good PvP fight in EVE Online? Well, no, not necessarily. In fact, quite often, not at all. Especially if you're a brand new player, fresh out of the Capsuleer clone bay, with a penny to your name and only the base skills to fly a ship. The same applies to veteran players who have never had the balls to get into some real and challenging PvP. In 10 years of playing of EVE, i found that the fastest and most fun places to fight are the faction warfare areas of low-sec space. I say this from the perspective of both a militia pilot, a pirate, and a casual low-sec day tripper. Faction warfare has its problems as of this video and still needs some kind of conflict driver after one side has totally won, but as of now, it is still the easiest place to find a fight. Let me explain why and how this works, and yes, I'll even spoon feed you a couple of fits for beginners to get started. As you should know by now, there are four major empires that rule over high security space and parts of low security space, generally referred to as empire space. And although they have had fierce and bloody full scale wars in the past, they now have come to a sort of understanding. No matter which faction you choose for your character, the nature of these four empires has virtually no bearing on you at all. Unless you're a role player or if you enlist in their militia and fight a kind of proxy war for them over low sec systems. The Amar Empire and the Mimitar Republic fight their faction war, as Mimitar used to be enslaved by the Amar. The Galente Federation fights a Caldari state, as the Caldari state broke away from the Galente Federation, and there is still a lot of bad blood between them. To find out where to find the fights, go to the star map and then the color by wheel, and then find Sovereignty, and tick on Faction Warfare, All Militias. You can use the filter panel on the old map style as well, which is what I prefer. This shows you not only where all the contested systems are, but who has currently won them over. What are they fighting for exactly? Well, nothing tangible unfortunately, just cultural differences. This is where faction warfare could be better. It would be great if there was a tangible resource worth fighting for in these areas, kind of like sugar in the Caribbean during the Age of Sail. But you as a capsuleer, are fighting for more loyalty points, or LP. These loyalty points are awarded by various NPC organizations in EVE, including the militias of major empires, and you can trade this LP at stations for various items. This includes ammo, blueprints, weapons, even faction starship hulls. You can either keep those items or sell them on the market for ISK. How do you get the LP when in faction warfare? The most common way is to go out into Faction Warfare low sec space, where you have no protection from other players who want to fight you. Find a Faction Warfare complex, go in there, capture or secure the complex. You can find these complexes in your anomaly scanner as combat anomalies. They will say things such as Mimitar Novice Outpost, or Galenti Medium Compound, etc. Once you warp to one of these, a beacon will show up in the overview for all to see in the system. If you don't see them on your overview, you need to enable beacons in your overview settings under Celestials. When you warp to them, you'll find an acceleration gate that must be used to get into the complex, except for the open ones, which do not have this gate. This is where the ship size restrictions come into play. A novice complex will only allow T1 frigates to enter, but this includes the more powerful navy and pirate faction frigates. A small complex will allow anything below cruiser to enter, the medium will allow anything below battlecruiser to enter, the large will allow anything below battleship, and the opens have no gate at all, so if a dreadnought wants to hang out there, well sure it's overkill, but they are free to do so. Now if you're in a system that is occupied by your militia, this is called defensive plexing. You simply go in there and stay within 30 kilometers of the complex for a given amount of time to secure it, and then earn your LP once the time has expired. If you're in a system occupied by the enemy militia, then there will be an NPC faction warfare ship that you will need to destroy periodically, but you'll also stay in the complex for a given amount of time to capture it and earn the LP. Offensive plexing usually earns you a lot more LP than defensive plexing. 
Unfortunately, if you're in a militia but in enemy territory, you will not be able to dock at any of the NPC stations. If players have their own citadels up and have allowed you docking rights, those you can still dock at. Now this means you are susceptible to attack from anyone else who enters the complex, whether they are part of the enemy militia or not. Also, the militia who controls most systems gets more loyalty points for their efforts on a tier from 1 through 5. In some ways, this is broken. I think the underdogs should get at least as much or more loyalty points for fighting so hard. You also can earn loyalty points for killing capsuleers in an enemy militia and running faction warfare missions given by the agents at certain stations. Over time, as the militias capture or defend complexes and systems, as well as freely donate LP to the cause at the system's infrastructure hub, the contested bar will change until you flip the system. Finally, the infrastructure hub itself will become vulnerable to attack and must be destroyed by a lot of firepower to take the system. All in all, for a new player with very little skill points or assets, this is one of the easiest ways to earn income in the game while also learning about PvP on the cheap. And believe me, you will be exposed to all levels and styles of PvP very frequently, not just small gang frigate PvP. The only real downside of being in faction warfare is that you won't be too friendly with the enemy faction in HiSec. Over time, your reputation will deteriorate with the enemy empire. So for example, fighting for the Mimitar militia over time will deteriorate your reputation with the Amar empire. And once this falls to a certain level, even after leaving faction warfare, you run the risk of being attacked by the naval or police forces in the Amar Empire's high sec systems. But if you want to, you can always be a turncoat and switch sides. Unless you're some sort of hardcore fanatical role player, I would recommend doing this when the faction war zone is stagnant due to one side or the other winning too much. Remember an entire player organization and alliance can be enrolled into faction warfare, or just you yourself as an individual. Sometimes it takes some real collective effort and leadership to win back the faction warfare regions from the enemy militia, and this leadership can come and go. Although this is not really a PvP training video, I will share a couple of starter faction warfare fits in the description for frigates. These basic frigate fits are meant for alpha accounts, so they won't be optimized to kick ass with the best modules, but they're cheap, easy, and will allow you to offensively plex. The PvP will eventually find you but I highly recommend upgrading your EVE account to Omega as Alpha accounts are never really meant for long-term play. How to use these fits in PvP will take too long to explain in depth for this video. Let's see if you can figure that out on your own. The thing is, Faction Warfare is a trial by fire method of learning PvP. You must be psychologically prepared to take a loss. Faction Warfare, or at least fighting in the Faction Warfare areas, has produced the best PvP pilots I've ever seen if you are committed to really learning this method of gameplay and sticking with it, you will become an awesome PvP pilot. Well space friends, that wraps it up for this video. You can find my in-game information in the description below. Good hunting capsuleers, and here's a lot of retakes. Are the faction warp retake. And there is still a lot of bad blood retake. And there is still a lot of bad retake. And there is still a lot of bad blood there as well. We take. Go to the star map with the F10 key and then the color we're by wheel. Retake. You can find these complexes on your anomaly scanner as combat anomalies. Retake. You can find these complexes in your anomaly scanner as combat anomalies. They will things such as retake. A novice. Retake. This is great. No. Retake. Offensive plexing usually earns you a lot more LP than din. Retake. I think the underdog should get at least as much or more loyalty point retake. And will allow you to offensively peck. Re retake. 